Dolls. Hey everybody, and how are you doing? Today I am fulfilling a wish that those of you who have been subscribed to me for the last three or four years have been wishing constantly, please do a Morticia Adams transformation, or we'd really love to see you with your hair out. Can you please straighten your hair? We want to see what that looks like. Well, if you've asked for either of those things, you are about to get your wish. I'm a little bit nervous because, like I've said many times, I am by no stretch of the imagination a makeup artist, nor do I claim to be even good at makeup. Flies. I guess I should store those bodies somewhere else. They're if you are new to my channel, this is pretty much what I look like all the time. Ask anybody. I very rarely vary from this current face. I'm kind of boring and predictable that way. But I do love the way that makeup can completely change your face, make you look and feel like a completely different person. So today I'm going to become the epitome of a dark, elegant lady in a tight, sparkly dress. Morticia Adams. The Adams Family and Adams Family Values movies are two of my all-time favorite most precious dear to my heart films you can't see but on that wall i have a poster of adam's family values the first one came out in 1991 i think and i i watched them countless times dozens and dozens and dozens of times throughout my childhood ask my mum. i had them taped off the tv i absolutely love them and of course when i was a child i related very much with wednesday i wanted to be just like wednesday i used to do my hair like her when i was at school but now that i'm a grown-up i of course can relate more to morticia and just appreciate how um, how cool she is as, as a character. So it is for my love of those films that today I'm going to try and recreate the Angelica Houston incarnation of Morticia Adams, my personal favorite incarnation. You may think that this makeup doesn't look that complicated or that terribly different from what I'm always doing on my face, but the fact is that Angelica Houston is uniquely beautiful and having her trying to look anything like her I think will be the real challenge. Like I'm not obviously, you know, I have a complete different skull underneath my face meat and it's not going to be possible to look just like her, but I'm going to do my best to kind of imitate her look. Give us a thumbs up if you're a fan of the Addams Family and if you have not already done so while you're at it, please subscribe to my channel. You know you want to. Okay, so my first step will be unteasing my silly hairdo and cleaning off my face. Alright, let's begin. Da -na -na. First I've tried to make my eyes brown using these new Elemis contact lenses. They're not dramatically brown, but they're actually so comfortable I forgot they were there. I've already got primer on. Now her skin is white but not white white. It's like what I already do, which is uh, white with a bit of life breathed into it, and mixing a natural color with white foundation. I'm putting it on thickly, but not too thickly to get full coverage. I'll be doing my neck and chest later on with grease paint. So maybe you've noticed, but in the movies she always has this stripe of light across her eyes. Watch again if you don't believe me. I cannot recreate this with lights, but I will try to recreate it with highlighting. Now just setting the foundation with a clear powder. Now using photos for reference and a fancy brush, I'm carving rounded cheekbones with a little tick shape on the end, kind of squishing my face to see where that should be. Can, can you see what I'm doing? As well as carefully brushing downwards along the smile lines for a more hollow, mature face. I think for once I can take advantage of my squarish jaw and accentuate it, so I'm brushing sideways under my chin to make it look flatter and blending with a fluffy brush so it seems more natural. I'm putting black shadow at the edges of the contour to make the cheekbones stand out even more and blending it downwards at the sides to create a slightly lengthened face. I'm generously applying a white highlighter to imitate that stripe of light I mentioned all over my cheekbones, lots and lots of it. We need this to glow when the light hits it. Also highlighting my nose a bit. Now her eye makeup's fairly simple, but this could easily look bad. So using an angled brush, I'm sweeping a cat eye with some black eyeshadow and then marking out the cut crease. Kind of like a guide. I'm taking it right onto the bridge of my nose. Now with a thicker brush, I'm spreading the black upwards from the cat eye over the top of the crease and blending it out softly. Also pulling it down the bridge. After applying eye primer, I'm covering my lids with white. I managed to not film it well, but here I'm contouring my nose and working on that cheek and smile line shape again. After careful judging of where to put them, I'm taking a soft black pencil and confidently drawing a basic eyebrow shape, gently making them thicker and more rounded and tapered. 
With an angled brush, I'm smudging the pencil to make them lighter and kind of more realistic. A little highlight around the brow bones. Pencil eyeliner on the inner corners and along the bottom. Mascara. Being careful not to make the liquid eyeliner too big as I usually do, I'm putting it on the top lid only with a little wing. But I think I made them too big anyway, just did that thing where you try to make both sides even and it just ends up bigger and bigger. So not too dramatic false lashes, kind of a cross between natural and vampy. Since this is a look from the 90s, liquid lipsticks weren't a thing yet, so I have to use a bullet lipstick. I wanted to use a nice bloody red like Kat Von D's Santa Sangre, but it had to be a bullet. And then I remembered that the 10 year anniversary collection came with a gold bullet Santa Sangre. Because it's a bullet, I'm using a lip liner, trying not to overdraw my lips for a change. I just realised I forgot to remove my piercings. Oh well, screw it. Makeup is satisfactory, time to make my hair longer and lovelier. Remember a year ago I shaved both sides of my head? Well, it's still growing back and at a very awkward length. So I'm going to try some silky clip-in human hair extensions. But first I'm going to straighten my hair so it all looks the same. I don't think I've actually straightened all my hair before. I think this is the first time. I'm just putting the extensions along the short sides. I need a better outfit, something a little more tight. I'm just like any modern woman trying to have it all, a loving husband, a family. I just wish I had more time to Seek out the dark forces and join their hellish crusade. That's all. So, how do you think I did? Very, very hard to achieve the right lighting. Super important. And I can't do it. <laughs> I don't have the technology. So how do you think I did? Am I a convincing Morticia Adams, Angelica Houston style? Yes or no? What do you think? Personally, I'm quite proud of this makeup. As with every transformation video, I didn't practice first. I just looked at pictures and copied it and Hope for the best. Do you think my effort is comparable? Am I smiling too much? I should stop smiling. I'm being too animated. I should just sit and look demure and mysterious. We gladly feast upon those who would subdue us. Not just pretty words. Fun fact, Wednesday was one of the names my mother had in mind to give me and I'm forever sad as not to have received that because I would have loved that name. Everybody would have thought I'd chosen it and made it up. That's the day I was born on. I would have loved that so much, but never mind. It's a bit late for that now. <laughs> I'm not used to having my hair out. I mean, it's very, very comfortable, I must say. It is over 30 degrees today and it's very hot and it's making my neck hot, which I don't like so much. Yeah, it's really comfortable and it's quite shiny, isn't it? I love these extensions, like they just so perfectly fit in with my natural hair. Like it really, you can't tell which is which, which is nice. Which, which, which. Spares and hexes. I hope that for those of you who have been requesting this video since the dawn of time, I hope that you are happy with it and that I have Done you proud? <laughs> so as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, stay creepy, kooky, mysterious and spooky, and I will see you next time. Au revoir, mon cher.